I'm going to show you something really magical today about um, you know with this piece of uh, Loki or God um, as they call it. Let me just make a simple cut here and make a you know do this simple cut here. Absolutely fascinating thing. And let me make this a simple cut right here. So this is like a cylinder for me. And uh, if you see from top, this is a circle. And if you see from here, this is almost a square slash a rectangle, whatever you want to call it, depending on the height. Let's for now assume that the radius and height are exactly um, uh, same, this diameter and the height. So um, uh, radius and the height. So this is a unit uh, cylinder if in some sense. So you, just, you see a circle, you also see a rectangle from top. Now what happens is if I do, what I'm going to do is make this cut from this end, top end to bottom end. I'll write this right here. Start from here and I'm going to show you in the camera how I'm making this cut. I'm going down the incline like this. You see here and and I'm going to come right at the end here. Right at the end here. Almost so that I don't chop the circle off. Oh, absolutely wonderful. Yeah. So what I have done is by this cut this thing in two exactly equal parts. Um, uh, two exactly symmetrical pieces and uh, each of them so now what you see is an ellipse if i look if you see from top it's a circle but if you see perpendicular to this plane this is an ellipse and uh, interestingly the whole thing has a volume of pi because the uh, because uh, you know the radius and the height are units so this is pi so this must be pi by 2 but the most ma magical thing happens if i take this peel out let me take the peel out from this, the green part, the peel of this piece. Let me take this peel out and let's see what happens then. Oh, I didn't want it to be cut, but it did. So hopefully this is the peel that is out and this is my peel right here. And so let me keep this peel right here. And trace this. Let me trace uh, this peel with a pen right here. And this thing in a blue is actually a sine wave. So what we saw was in this piece, we saw a circle, we saw an ellipse, we saw actually from here a triangle, exact right angle triangle and then also a sine wave. And the most interesting thing is the area of this whole thing is actually pi and something more interesting happens the area of this circle is also pi so this and this are both pi however something even more interesting happens if i cut this half and keep it here let's keep it here this piece this half piece is also part of a sine wave but magically this area is one and uh, something more interesting is going to happen if i took the same cylinder and if i took the same cylinder and cut it in the half from the middle vertically i get the square Um, let me take it from this piece this the square from this piece this is also going to be a square magically these two things this is also uh, a square of area one this of course has no pi and this also has one so what is fascinating is that in this simple gourd that we saw the peel the area of the peel is pi, so is the, the area of this circle and if I cut half the peel, it is independent of pi, the pi has vanished and of course there is no pi in this square because this is uh, you know just the diameter and the height. And so that I found absolutely magical that pi is vanished and something even more interesting happens when we start considering the volumes of this piece. Let me take another uh, you know piece right here, I made the same cut. So we saw when we took this piece, 
this volume the the volume was pi the volume of this piece volume of this piece was pi because it's uh, you know pi r square h and every, if everything is unit this is pi and when i cut it in half the volume must be pi by 2 this is when i am cutting from this end all the way to this end what happens if i cut from this end all the way till the middle right in the middle not i'll cut from this point not to this point but this time from here to here and like this so this time what i've done is i've made these this this cut from here to the middle similarly i can do the other way from other side also i can do this cut right in the middle so these two cuts and this is the piece that comes out from the from the top right uh, these two are supposedly equal and so let me take this and keep it right here this is the one piece now and i take this peel also again if i do this half cut this should be half a sine wave and most interestingly this time if i do from one end to end this area is independent of pi <laughs> this one this is also a sine wave but half of it this area no pi and the most fascinating thing about this thing is if i keep it here the volume is also independent of pi this whole thing the volume has pi but this piece that i take out this piece both these pieces their volume is independent of pi and if i take the peel that is also independent of pi but if i keep the whole thing together there is pi take this piece out there is no pi that is the magic <laughs>